right guys well we are as you can hear airing down the tires i've got david with amazing life with me and we are out in arizona we are just on the outskirts of the grand canyon we are going to be exploring some absolutely gorgeous area today so i'm really looking forward to this trip There is some campsites up here with some pretty amazing views. Not necessarily where we want to stop right now, but definitely some good sights. Yeah, I agree. All right, guys. Well, David is getting ready to uh, fly his drone so we can get some more drone footage. But uh, here is just an awesome camp spot right here. What a gorgeous view of the little Colorado. And uh, man, just... Oh man, it's just freaking amazing. Like look, as far as you can see over that direction, uh, you got the Grand Canyon. I mean, I think that's still a little Colorado. I don't know, that might be where the Grand Canyon's coming in. It's kind of hard to tell from here. But man, this would make a real fantastic camp spot. But to be honest, we want to keep going. Uh, we've got a place marked out actually down on the plateau that will hopefully, fingers crossed, put us right on the uh, rim of the little Colorado. guys so I have to admit I'm a little bit frustrated with myself right now so we met I made uh, since I kind of did the planning for this little uh, route for me and David I made a massively rookie mistake that uh, I should have known better and not made uh, when we made the plan to come out here looking at the maps on my laptop I had Gaia up I had Google Earth up and you know I was looking at the territory I was getting excited about it and how cool it was gonna be. And I forgot to look at one thing, and that is the public and private land use maps. As we were coming down, I was using my tablet, which my tablet did have the public and private land use maps up. And I noticed that we were coming out of the national forest and into a patch of area that was um, not national forest. So a little bit of research that's Navajo land. So luckily, thanks to modern technology, we were able to do some research online, see what the regulations were, and you've got to have a permit to be down here. And you have to have different permits from what it looks like to be able to camp down here. We're just not going to go any further. We're gonna turn around and head right back up the hill to one of the other campsites that we saw on top. You know, kind of got too hasty this morning with my planning didn't uh, cross all my T's, didn't dot all my I's, and uh, yeah, a little bit frustrating. All right, 
least I can make myself feel a little bit better about my stupid mistake by picking up some trash along the trail. Hello, GoPro friend. I know, hello, friend. Hello there, GoPro friend. <laughs> I figured out what happened. When you told me that you turned left, mm -hmm. I was already past the spot. No, you weren't. Are you sure? Yeah, because I saw you down there. Oh, wow, all right. Because I, I saw you, and I saw you coming up I around the corner even... down there, and I said, yeah, I turned left up here. So I turned I turned left down at another one that was kind of a little bit more rickety. Mm -hmm. um, and then I guess I just blew past this one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it can almost be set up to do, um, I just don't know. I mean, you could almost have, if you put a lid on it, you could have like the sweat lodge type thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely well within the National Forest now, but yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like to me there's a little fire pit. Right. I don't know if it's just something people built so they had a little place to kind of get out of the wind and have a fire or what, Maybe. but. So you have to be Anyways, guys, if you know what this was or is, leave a comment below. Well, we've finally gotten everything all set up and it's a, just an absolutely beautiful evening. You know, it would have been great if we would have worked out for us to be down below, but I'm not disappointed in this at all. This is just an absolutely stunning view and great little campsite because we've got this hillside behind us, which is offering a little bit of shelter from the wind. But as it is right now, it just doesn't seem like there's any wind to be had. So it's just a calm pleasant evening out on the desert touch of sun still left on the hillsides um, the cliff sides of the little colorado and um, we're in shade which is kind of nice because it's much cooler now very comfortable out i'm enjoying my new little fire pit that i got from timbo tusk and uh, it's just yeah it's just a really really nice way to end a day of an adventure but uh, yeah I'm gonna got a little bourbon got my woodenville and uh, I'm gonna do some cooking tonight I'm gonna cook uh, I've got some wild turkey and I've had it marinating uh, in the marinade that I made yesterday and I'm gonna get David see if he will uh, boil up some fettuccine noodles and we're gonna make kind of a chicken alfredo um, except for it's gonna be turkey
Sorry about that. It just took a little longer to start to boil than I was expecting them to. That stove isn't quite as strong. Oh, that looks amazing. Mm. Okay, yeah. I need the pepper. The pepper really did it. <clears throat> yeah, I think adding the water back in. Yeah. Well, good morning, folks. We have a absolutely stunning sunrise this morning. Sun's already starting to get up in the sky. Uh, it started getting light this morning right around five o'clock, just before that, and um, yeah, just some absolutely gorgeous light out across the canyons. Kind of just laid in bed there for a little bit and just enjoyed it through the windshield, uh, the, the color and the view, but we're out right now. Got my little Kimbo Tusk fire pit. I couldn't be happier with this little thing. Um, I wanted a fire pit that would work on my low pressure system on the van and this thing is working perfect plus it breaks down to just a really small package so yeah really happy with that nice little expo find and uh, yeah you guys will be seeing a lot of this during the summertime content since we are most likely gonna be in burn band when we get home they, they are definitely in burn band here in Arizona but yeah, I think we'll uh, just continue to take in this beautiful sunrise, drink some coffee, hang out with David a bit. And uh, there's a lot of roads up here in the National Forest area of where we can be. And I think I'll just get the e-bike down and go for a ride uh, this morning before it gets too hot. Right, guys well we're just gonna work on a quick breakfast we're gonna just do some pre-cooked sausages got some eggs um, just want a pretty simple breakfast just something to get in my stomach so that way I can go out and ride the bike and not be starving to death kind of like I was in Nevada uh, so yeah quick breakfast and then uh, bike ride All right, guys. Well, I've just come up on another little rock structure. Uh, just again, tootling down these roads and stuff. But this one's quite a bit bigger than the one that we're camped by. Uh, it's still 
kind of round in shape but you can see where they had the rocks all stacked up i don't know if this was some kind of corral uh, or something but i don't see at least right now anything else that looks like um any type of living structure this seems like it to me it looks like more like it was some form of uh small corral but i could be wrong on that if you guys have any ideas you know again leave the leave it down in the comments and let me know Folks, well, this is a really cool find. So this actually isn't too far from that uh, stro stone structure I just found. So, which leads me to believe that that was a corral, and this was maybe somebody's homestead or something here. But man, what a cool old building! You can see somebody has had a little fire pit in here, but at one time it looks like there was actually. A stove in here there's a little stove pipe but um, yeah this is a cool find I always find it very exciting when I find old relics of the past like this one this particular one was extra exciting because I didn't know anything about its origins. I didn't find it by looking up satellite imagery or reading about it in a history book. And I definitely would not have found it if things had gone according to plan the day before. It's always nice when things go perfectly to plan, but sometimes it's better when they don't. Yeah, I could get used to that. It's like a motorcycle. I mean, it feels, that's really cool. All right, folks. Well, we are ready to pack up and get out of here. Didn't we have a little bet of who's gonna get packed up first, David? <laughs> it's not fair. I, I had like, I've had drone wounds. I've lost my hat. I You ruined my bike. I, I ruined your bike. Yeah. It's time for us to split up. <laughs> it's time for us to go. <laughs> Before anything I'm, I'm else breaks. <laughs> <laughs> All joking aside, it's been a great weekend. It's been a beautiful uh, oh spot gosh. that we had here. Didn't quite work out the way we had planned when we came here, but I don't That's have too many complaints. Extremely happy with it. It was it was gorgeous. Uh, you know, honestly, the, the adventure is, that's just part of the adventure. Yeah. All this stuff is, so. So first trip with the hatchet camper, how was it? Uh, I am, I couldn't be more pleased. Uh, awesome. You know, I've got a I've got a video that kind of is going to show more uh, details about it and, and stuff. But so check that out. But uh, yeah, I have I still got tweaking to do. But right. I mean, you know, you're constantly tweaking. Yeah, your brand stuff, new so. anything brand new. It's you just got the way tweaking it is. to do. Yeah. All right, David. Well, as always, Thanks. it's great. Have a safe trip back to Tennessee. I got to start trucking back to uh, Oregon. So uh, we'll see each other again. I'm sure very soon. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. If you do want to learn more about this hatchet camper for the Jeeps, definitely check out David's channel, and we'll catch you guys again outside. outside.